Hey, what's up guys? My name is Cameron Gallagher and today I'm going to show you a really quick little cool way to make a DaVinci Resolve 15 or 14 project file. Now, if you're like someone like me and you've come from Premiere in the past, you're used to using project files when it comes to opening and saving and that's sort of like where all of your edits and everything lives. But in DaVinci Resolve, it's a little bit different. Now, this is actually somewhat of a negative, but I would say more or less a positive. One of the issues with project files, especially in Premiere, is the way Premiere constantly crashes. You tend to have times where you have to make a new project file, then you have five project files, you don't know which one's the right one, and you could end up using one off a of backup drive. So personally, I don't recommend working off of project files that you save places, but it's definitely great for things like backing up and kind of just extra safety. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys today. So if you don't know, if you click on this little button when you open up DaVinci Resolve, this shows where your database is which is basically where all of your projects live. Now, generally this is wherever your DaVinci Resolve folder is in your C drive. So basically all of these project files are saved in that C drive, which is great. And of course, if you back up your C drive and your computer's backed up, you're totally fine. You have a backup of all your projects. When you install a new DaVinci Resolve, it in instantly just syncs all of these together. But what if you want to save the project file and you want to send it to someone, or you wanna just maybe have an extra backup on a different hard drive or something like that? I'll kind of show you how you can easily do that. So what we're gonna do is, and if you don't know, you can make folders here too, which is really awesome. So that's just a quick little cool tip. So we're gonna go into this and we're gonna open up the film grain tutorial, but we're not gonna open it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna right click. Now you can do things, now in here you can do things like restore, archive, all that kind of stuff. But what we really wanna do is go to export. So if we click on export, we can open up and we can of course save this whatever we want. And we can save it to our desktop. And then what it does, I'm gonna drag it up because it went to my other screen, is boom, there is our DaVinci Resolve project file. Now, you may say, well, why is this really helpful? Well, I look at this as helpful in a few different ways. First off, if you're using an editor that's you know editing with you remotely, you can easily, and if you're not working on like a server, because you know DaVinci Resolve Studio does support collaborative workflows but over a server and stuff like that. But if you want to, you can easily just send them this DaVinci Resolve file and they can have the clips, you know, and you can just edit and it's pretty simple. Um, so that's cool, but you can also, and, and what I would recommend doing is if you have really big projects that are very, very important, I have a large project that's very important, and of course because DaVinci Resolve is a beta right now, at least a 15 is a beta, you know, there's the fear that you could potentially lose a project. So what I did is I actually, now of course I have my initial hard drive backed up, so I technically have two copies of all of these project files. But then what I do is every so often I'll export a DaVinci Resolve project file and I'll put it in a project backups folder. And what that basically does is I, and I could name it in this case like film grain May 11th and then in a couple days let's say I do a lot of work to it I could do you know film grain May 14th whatever it may be and I can easily put those in a folder so if for some reason my hard drive were to die my computer dies and I can't access the backup on another hard drive I have all of those important project files backed up so all I have to do is load it up on a computer and I can easily pull it up and there's all the footage. So there you go guys, that's a quick tip on how to export a DaVinci Resolve project file. It'll have some more stuff coming for you very soon, so stay tuned. Catch you later.